welcome back to my channel and welcome to another year of declutters. Ah, I'm gonna start this out kind of on the slow side. I feel like I have to be in a very certain mood in order to really want to declutter. I find that if I'm not in the right mindset, I will keep things that I know I shouldn't keep. And today I was just really feeling like the declutter of lipsticks. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna declutter my lipsticks. So I have quite a few <laughs> lipsticks. As you can see, this is my like acrylic container right here. I have a drawer of bullet lipsticks that are mostly MAC here. I have this drawer that has mostly liquid lipsticks in it. This has bullet lipsticks in it. This has lip glosses and lip balms. <clears throat> and then my top drawer has lip liners in it. So I'm probably gonna end up splitting this into two or three videos just because I don't want these videos to be too incredibly long. If you do like declutter videos, I have two years worth of decluttering that I will link down below for you guys that are very much so like in this same style of declutter. I hope that this camera angle works for you. Um, it's the best that I could do. I'm gonna stop rambling, let's, let's hop into it. So this is what I pulled out of my purse. Can you believe all of this was in my purse? So I'm gonna pull out bullet lipsticks because I, want to start with those. Last year when I did this, I was very hesitant to get rid of a few lipsticks. Honestly, I should have just gotten rid of them, but I didn't. I do think that this is the category that I'm going to keep the most in just because when I wear a lipstick, it's typically a bullet lipstick. I'm actually not really a fan of liquid lipsticks anymore. I know, gasp, right? This is insane. I don't even, I just kind of want to count how many there is. Okay, I have 116 bullet lipsticks, you guys, and that's given that I don't find any more like hiding in another purse or in, you know, one of these drawers that they weren't supposed to be in. But there's a couple that I know like for sure I wanna keep. So all of my Charlotte Tilbury, I definitely wanna keep simply because these are kind of newer to my collection within the last year, year and a half. And I have just really been loving Charlotte lately. So I don't wanna get rid of any of her lipsticks. I do wanna check them all to make sure that there isn't any mold. So I have Very Victoria. This one is so pretty. It's called The Queen. I do also wanna make sure I don't keep too many lipsticks that are too out of my comfort zone. So like for example, Bright Red. I'm not gonna wear a ton of Bright Red. I probably only need to keep, you know, two red lipsticks. So I just want to make sure that I'm not keeping too many unrealistic colors. This one's really pretty. Live it up. Oh, that's right. I love live it up. That one's one of my favorites. Live it up. Pillow talk. Okay, so there is all of my Charlotte lipsticks, I think. Um, and I do want to take note that there is one bright pink in here. So the queen is a bright, bright pink color. And then there's also uh, like a deep red brown. So here's the queen, you can see, I hope that, I'll try to zoom in and show you guys, but it's like a bright hot pink, it's beautiful. And then there's also one called the legendary queen that is like a very dark, here it is. So you can see it's like a deep dark red. So I probably don't need to keep too many more deep dark reds and bright pinks, but we'll see. I do want to kind of set those aside. The rest are in the nude pink family and I know I love them. So keeping all of my Charlotte lipsticks. There's also some others that I know for sure I bought last year um, that I just haven't really had a chance to try out yet that I definitely don't want to get rid of. For example, this pure, uh, I think it was Barbie. Yeah, Barbie and Pure. I haven't put this on my lips yet at all. My sister actually bought this for me right after I had Lincoln. So I'm going to keep that for sure. Also, this from MAC was purchased last year um, from the Aladdin collection. So I definitely want to keep that one. Also, this one from MAC I purchased last year as well. It's called Let's Mess Around. They're all very similar in color, so <laughs> I don't come for me, I know that. Also, there's one that's in my project pan for the year, this one right here by Dior. So I wanna set that one aside because it's in my project pan. Some of these, actually both of these, Dior, this one for sure I bought last year. Um, 
This one might have been the year before. It smells really good, but it's still good. So I want to keep those. Oh, these, um, what are these called again? Powder Kiss from MAC. These I purchased last year. Oh, I love the smell of MAC lipsticks as well. So I put these I pulled out of my purse. This one I've used quite a bit. Um, so I want to keep both of those just because they are fairly new. This is one of my favorite lipsticks I think ever. I'm surprised it's not gone. It's um, Clinique Nude Pop. So I'm going to keep that one. I think I purchased all of these last year as well. I also purchased this last year. Um, I thought maybe I had one more of the Bare Minerals ones, but I guess not unless it's in here somewhere it might be hiding somewhere but this I definitely purchased last year it's in the color cinnamon I really like these bare minerals lipsticks they're matte finish but they're nice and soft and creamy now these are all from bite beauty and they are all bright colors see look at how bright that is it's like a bright pink and then there's a bright like orangey red and then there's also a just bright red. So these are beautiful pops of color. I wish they would expand this line to add more neutral colors because the formula is so good. That's why I bought all of these. I bought them last year, so I'm gonna keep them, but I just need to keep that in mind of like, hey, you know, here's my pile of like reds and brights. I don't want it, that to get too big. This was also purchased last year. It came in a kit. Um, it's Too Faced Gingerbread Man. So that I want to keep. This is a really pretty color. I wouldn't categorize this as bright. It's definitely more of like a, it's a very unique color. I actually don't have many lipsticks that color. Like a orange, like a deep brown orange almost. Now there's also some in here that have sentimental value uh, because they were like my wedding colors. So I have a Bobbi Brown lipstick that was my wedding lipstick. This one right here. So yeah, Bobbi Brown. It's in the color Pale Mauve. So I'm not going to get rid of that one. I will probably never get rid of that one. I also purchased this one, Chanel 432, for the purpose of possibly wearing on my wedding, but I didn't. Um, now my wedding was only a year and a half ago-ish. So I, I don't want to get rid of those. Also, this Chanel Camilla is one of my favorites as well. So I'm keeping that one. And then MAC Peach Blossom is the one that I ended up wearing on my wedding. And in fact, that is one of my most worn lipsticks as well. I find that it just goes so well with like everything. Like pretty much anytime I'm taking pictures... I wear MAC Peach Blossom. It's right here. It's just like a peach. I don't know. It's nothing special, but it works really well. Also, Kat Von D Love Lorn is um, another one of my favorites. I repurchased, oh, sorry, Love Craft. Um, I repurchased it. So this is a new tube. I got rid of the old one. I don't know that I purchased, they smell really good too. They smell like vanilla. I don't know that I repurchased it last year, but I think it was the year before, like towards the end of the year. I actually am certain it was. It was in November of the year before because I bought it when I went to go visit my family for Thanksgiving. So keeping that one, pretty much everything else is, I don't want to say up for grabs, but is kind of new. This Kylie one, I think it's brand new. I haven't even put this on my lips you know what, I'm going to possibly sell some of my declutter stuff on Poshmark. So anything that, lipsticks, people get a little weird with lipsticks. Last time I sold lipsticks on Poshmark, people got a little weird. Not the people who bought them, but people who were just watching my declutter video got a little weird with it. So, but this is a brand spanking new one. I mean, you could tell just by looking at it, I haven't even put it on my lips. So I am actually going to put some stuff aside for a posh, possible Poshmark sale, but that will probably be the only lipstick that's in that sale. Oh, you know what? These balms were brand new last year as well. These Bobbi Brown um, like balmy lipsticks. I got these in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. 
So I want to keep those. Okay, let's get rid of some easy ones. These CoverGirls, I do love the formula of these CoverGirl lipsticks, but they've started to smell bad. And it's weird because I haven't really had these for very long, but they've lost their vanilla smell, um, which is very, very unfortunate because they're beautiful and they're, they're just so good. Um, and there's a red one as well. So I'm going to get rid of the cover girls. They just went bad really fast. I don't know what it is about those. So those are easy. These little mini lipsticks. I don't tend to lean towards mini lipsticks. I don't know why. I just don't. They're pretty colors. But I just, I want to say I tried to declutter these last time. And I went back into the box and pulled them out. <laughs> because I was like, no. And I should have just let it be. So those are easy. These Bite Beauty lipsticks, so they are made with kitchen grade ingredients, or at least I, I think they are. So in theory, they're not supposed to last for very long. Um, I've had them for a couple of years. I wear these a lot. They still smell good. So I have the color Meringue. This one is the color Vorve. This one I've had probably the longest. You can see there's like sweat marks on the side. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. So finally, one I'm getting rid of. Um, I, I just know I've had that one for a very long time. It's beautiful, but it's, it's too old. Um, Gemini is fairly new. I got this because I am a Gemini. And it's like a two-sided lipstick. I don't think I've ever even put this on my lips, but it looks like I swatched it. I'm going to keep it because it wasn't that old. This this line, you probably remember, it. it's, it's not that old. Um, Fig is another one I've had for a really, really long time. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. I might repurchase some of these ones. Um, Sorbet, I'm pretty sure I bought this at TJ Maxx and it looks like it's already starting to go bad. I'll bet it was kind of old, which is why it was at TJ Maxx and it already has like those like sweat bubbles, which some people say is mold. So I'm going to get rid of that. Sugar cane is beautiful, but it is way too old. God, it is so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <sighs> That's one that I might want to repurchase. Sugar cane. And then meringue is more on like the peachy side. So sugar cane is more pink, whereas meringue is more peach. They're both beautiful. I need to get rid of, I need to get rid of probably all of these. They're just too old. Um, fig is pretty too, but I don't like it as much as sugar cane and meringue. So those might be the two that I want to repurchase. Either way, I need to get rid of them, but those are the two I might want to repurchase. Okay, there is a Kat Von D, yeah, Magic. This one has like chunks of glitter in it. The color itself is beautiful, but the chunks of glitter you could feel on your lips and it feels kind of grainy. And because of that, I tend to not use that lipstick. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, I have a couple of more Kat Von D. I do tend to really like Kat Von D's lipsticks. Um, but I haven't used them in a very long while. I like Lolita. Lolita is just one of those like deeper kind of colors. But I could probably, oh mother, that, oh, it's like a purple, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, and what's this one, Double Dare? Ooh, Double Dare is a color I would love to wear, I'm sure. I don't know about these. I'm going to put these up here as like maybes. This lipstick I can get rid of. I've had it for a pretty decently long time. Spicy Mauve by L'Oreal. I don't actually wear it very much. It's beautiful, but I can get rid of that one. This is a fairly new one I got in PR. It's by Lancome. It's like one of those balmy lipsticks. 
I kind of want to keep a pile of like my balmy lipsticks because I love them, but I just, I don't feel like I need very much of these. This I pulled out of my purse. It's by MAC. I love that one too. This I bought last year. Actually, I'm going to keep that for sure because I bought that last year. These lipsticks by Anastasia, I'm going to get rid of them. I don't like the way they feel on my lips. They're way too dry, so I'm getting rid of them. These Flower Beauty lipsticks are fairly new. I've bought them in the past two years, but I just don't tend to lean towards them because I have so many other lipsticks that I really, really like a lot. I do want to keep one. I really like Naked Blush, I think is my favorite. Yeah, I'm going to keep Naked Blush, but the rest I'm going to get rid of. Here's another mini by YSL. I can get rid of that. This Too Faced lipstick, I don't love. I don't love the way it feels on my lips and it's a weird color for my lips, so I'm getting rid of that. I love these NARS, NARS Audacious lipsticks. Um, I just really like the formula of them. I wanna make sure they haven't gone bad. That one has, it has, it doesn't look, it doesn't look great, let's be, be honest, but it's probably still fine. Anita still smells okay. And this one is Anna. Yeah, these are the two. I love this formula, although they don't feel as creamy as they once did, you know, once upon a time. But those are really, really pretty colors. So I'm going to put these in my little maybe section as well. This by MAC I can get rid of. It's toasted, no, smoked almond. It's just old, and I know it is, and I haven't worn it in years. So I can get rid of that. These two by YSL. Oh, here's a bright red. This might be the bright red that I keep. Bright red, and this is a bright pink. No, oh, I must have gotten rid of the bright pink. Um, this is a nude, and it's so pretty. You could tell I've used it a lot, a lot, a lot. These were expensive and I like them, so I'm gonna keep both of those. Although I wanna keep the red aside because like I was saying before, I don't need, oh, Linky, you turned over onto your belly. Lincoln's sitting here next to me. I don't wanna keep too many like, you know, bright reds. So I do wanna keep that one aside, but the nude I'm gonna keep for sure. This is another one of those Macs came out in the same, at the same time medium rare um, as the smoked almond. I'm going to get rid of it. It's just a little bit too old. These YSL lipsticks are really, really hard for me to get rid of because they are so expensive. This one is engraved with my name, so I do want to keep it. Um, it's pretty. They're the balmy lipsticks, and I just love the balmy lipsticks, so I don't want to get rid of something that I love, you know? Um, this one I've had for a very, very, very long time. There's actually not much of it left, you could tell. It's one of those much loved, it's just a hint of pink. Um, it doesn't seem like it's gone bad though. This one I've had for equally as long. It's probably the only one with actual color to it. The color just doesn't work for me. It doesn't. It was one of those ones where like everybody liked it for a while. It was like huge on YouTube. So I've bought it because I wanted to be like everyone else and I ended up just not wearing it very much. I think I need to get rid of it. It still smells, you know, it still smells good, but I do, I need to get rid of that one. Um, these are fairly new. I got these last year in the Nordstrom anniversary sale as well. I want to say these are the two that came in that. So I'm going to keep those. And then one of these, I think, think I got in PR. I like balmy lipsticks. I do. They just work for me. So I'm going to keep those. And then, oh, here's one that I forgot. Here's another one. So I'm going to keep those just because I do really, really like that formula. Um, this one I think is too old though. I think I just need to get rid of it. Okay. Pat McGrath. I haven't really used these very much to have like a true opinion on them. So I kind of want to keep them just because they're not that old. Um, and I just want to try them. They were expensive. So I'm going to keep those to try them out a little bit more. Jeffree Star. So I have birthday suit. 
which is a beautiful color but his these lipsticks i think these were some of his first bullet lipsticks he ever came out with um here's another bright red they are like not creamy at all they're like tug when you apply them so I think I'm going to get rid of those. I just don't love them. I have a couple of Lancome in here. This was a limited edition. I want to say it's a nude color. Yeah, I like this one a lot. So I'm going to keep that. This one, uh, you know, I like the color. It, but it's one of those like deep reds and I don't need a ton of that color. I'm going to set this in my maybe section. Um, this one by Givenchy, I can't say it, is one of those bright pinks. Now I have a couple of these already. This is also fairly old. There's that. I'm going to compare it to like Charlotte's um, The Queen. Just because they are so similar in color. Yeah, they're pretty much the same exact color. And then Bite, here's this one from Bite Beauty. Yeah, so I don't know that I will probably ever use this again, so I'm going to get rid of that. This one by Marc Jacobs I do really like, but it's, it's old. I've had it for years and years. So, and if you look at that swatch, I mean, it looks a lot like some of the other swatches that I have. So, uh, I think I just, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it because it seems to be okay. It doesn't smell bad. Okay, all that's left now are my MAC lipsticks. MAC Selena, I, I really want to keep these. I just really like this collection by MAC a lot. I was a huge Selena fan as a kid, so I'm going to keep those. They, they look fine for now. They don't look like they've gone bad in any way. This Babe Town by MAC, very pretty actually. That's a newer purchase. These Patrick Star ones. This one is beautiful. She better work. So I want to keep that one. I don't love this one. Mama Star. It's more of like a brown. And here's a bright red. Patrick Wu, I think. Yeah. So I need to compare it. I think I only have two bright reds now, though. I have this one. Legendary Queen is more of a dark, deep red. Yeah, so they're different. And then the one from Bite Beauty is a bright red. But So I can keep those because it's, I feel like it's different enough. You know what I mean? This lipstick is old. It's just old, old. It is like one of their Aqua collections they had a long time ago. Yeah, ugh, it's even like chunky when you swatch it. Ew, that is weird. Okay, for sure it's gonna go. Cool packaging though, I wish I could keep it forever. Um, this one's also pretty old, Viva Glam Rihanna. And if I'm being honest with myself, I rarely wear it. It has like a sheen to it, which just isn't my thing. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Twig, this is a newer purchase, so I'm gonna keep that. There's a couple that I repurchased and Twig was one of them. And then Peach Blossom was another. Red Balloon is beautiful. It doesn't smell like vanilla anymore. And it has those like things on them. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Plus it's one of those bright pinks that I know I, do, I, I already have a couple of. All right, we're gonna try to finish up here quickly because Mr. Lincoln needs to go lay down for a nap. So I kind of got to thinking about it more. I'm gonna get rid of these NARS Audacious. They're just really old, you guys. They're great, but they are super old. Anything else I'm on the fence about, I'm gonna just get rid of as well. So this Lancome, I'm gonna get rid of it. I still don't know about these Kat Von D. I don't wanna regret anything, so I might keep these just for now. So this one is nothing to wear. That's a color nude that I just don't typically use. Um, it's more of like a brown nude, and I just don't typically use colors like that. Um, Cinderella, beautiful again, but it's just one of those nudes I don't tend to use. So I'm going to get rid of that. This one is fairly new. It's from their holiday collection two years ago. It's one of those beautiful berry colors, which was very similar to this Lancome that I'm getting rid of. 
So it makes me feel okay about keeping that one. These Mariah Carey, I have held on to these. They're about two years old. Um, there's one that's a little bit more pink and one, my hand is like stained from all of the, uh, I don't use these you guys, but they are so pretty and the packaging themselves are really pretty too. I just, I can't really sell them and I don't have anybody here in Charlotte to give them to like all my family lives elsewhere. So if I get rid of them, like literally they're just going to go in the trash. So it's either like they're sitting in the trash or they're sitting in my makeup collection getting a little bit older <laughs> and like maybe I'll use them. Um, I like the darker one actually. I think that was this one. Yeah, I'm going to keep the darker one and get rid of that one. Rebel is one of my favorites. This one is old as well. It's very similar to that one, but it's a little bit more on the pinky berry side, whereas this one is more like a deep red almost. This is one of my favorites. The packaging is limited edition, but I could it, it's part of their permanent line. Those are very similar colors. They are, but I'm going to keep that because I really like it. Um, cream Cup, this is old. Unless, is, did I rebuy this one? No, it doesn't even smell like vanilla anymore. So this is an old one. It's pretty color though. Um, it's really pretty, but I'm going to get rid of it. It's too old. Um, Brave is another one of my favorites. It smells like a crayon, which means it's on the old side. This one, oh my God, there was so much controversy about this one in my last declutter video. So this is Miley Cyrus Viva Glam. Um, it's still, I have not used it. <laughs> so it's been a year since I filmed that. I still have not used it. It's a brand new tube. It's not even swatched. It's not even used. But people are like, it's so old. It's gone bad. You need to get rid of it. You can't sell it. So I ended up not selling it because I felt like guilty based off of what everybody was saying in that video. But look guys, I still haven't used it. And I feel like I ethically can't sell it because it's too old. Um, I am going to hang on to it though because it's brand new and it still smells like vanilla. Um, so I'm going to keep that. And if anything, like I'll use it. It's one of those bright pinks. So I have a couple of those already, but, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, Love Lauren's another one that, of my favorites, but it is so old. I need to get rid of it. Um, Glam, me and my sister went on a hunt for this one, you guys. It's so pretty. It's one of those deep uh, pinks though. It still smells okay. It still has its vanilla scent. I'm gonna put that in the maybe section. Um, Girl About Town, this is an old one. It's really pretty, but it is so old. I need to get rid of it. Um, Hot Chocolate, this one is not too, too old. It's a color I don't really wear so much anymore though. Um, syrup, ooh, this one is has mold on it it has mold on it so this one has got to go but it's a that's a pretty color faux is another one of my favorites i'm looking at it because it looks a little yucky um i might keep faux i might keep faux lincoln is drooling all over me i'm gonna get rid of hot chocolate i just don't um, this one is Magic Spell. This is a really pretty one, actually. Ooh, but it is old. I could tell, excuse you, just by the way it skipped and drug on my arm, it's old. So I need to get rid of that one. Um, Hot Gossip is another one that's really, really, really old. A lot of these lipsticks are like six years old. I bought a ton of lipsticks in 2014. And it's now 2020. So pretty much all of my MAC lipsticks, my majority, like about 30 of them, like all in one year, are from that year. Hot Gossip is one of those. It's too old. Angel is beautiful. This is one of those just like easy when you need something quick, you know? It's a pretty wedding lipstick. It still smells okay too. I'm gonna keep that. Novella Vogue. This one is 
pretty. I kind of forgot I had that one. It's in the matte formula, which I don't tend to wear very often, but it's a really pretty color. I'm gonna keep that one. And then what's left? I got these two left. Nothing to wear. Oh no, these are two I'm getting rid of. That's right. I just threw them over there. Okay, let me revisit these really quick. Rebel I'm keeping. Viva Glam Miley I'm keeping. Angel I'm keeping. Faux. Brave. Glam. Which one was glam? Was glam the matte one or the... God, it is so pretty though. Okay, let me swatch glam compared to... Whoop, you're gonna fall forward, Linky. Uh, oh my God, he just flung saliva on me. To the queen, because they are very, very similar. They are so similar. Okay, I'm gonna keep my Charlotte Tilbury one and I'm gonna get rid of glam. I know it's old, so I need to get rid of it. This Lancome, I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, I need, these are the last three. I know they're old. This one is not that old. Babe Town. Actually, that's really pretty too. That one's fairly new. These two are so old, but they're so, they're so good. Brave is beautiful. Faux is also beautiful. <laughs> okay, these are two that I think I just need to repurchase at some point because they are too old and I don't want anything weird to go on with my lips. Okay guys, so I was just rocking Lincoln to sleep for his nap and it's so funny how sitting there with your baby can really like put things into perspective for you. So I was thinking like, you know what, if I'm reaching for a lipstick these days, it's very likely going to be Charlotte Tilbury or some sort of balmy lipstick or even a lip liner with a lip gloss on top. So all of these ones where I was kind of like meh, uh, on the fence, I think I'm just gonna get rid of them, you guys. So like this Marc Jacobs one, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This Flower Beauty, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, Mac Angel, I know this is old. It still smells okay, but it's just, it needs to go. Um, all of these, Kat Von D, I do wanna keep Love Lorne, I think, Love Craft, because I like this one a lot, but the others, I'm gonna get rid of. I think the rest is good, so we have my YSL balms that I really, really like a lot. Balmy lipsticks, I just, if I'm wearing a lipstick nine times out of 10, it's probably a, some sort of nice, comfortable, balmy lipstick. So that's what those ones are. Oh, nope, these are also balmy lipsticks. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury. Some of these are matte, but Others are nice and comfortable and kind of fall, I don't want to say they're balmy lipsticks, but they're nice and comfortable, which again, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing a balm or some sort of comfortable, nice, sheer lipstick. So, oh, here's a couple more. These I'm keeping more for, we'll call it sentimental purposes. MAC lipsticks that I'm keeping. This Miley one, I'm also kind of keeping for sentimental purposes. I almost want to hang on to it for just like, let's see how long I can hang on to it. I don't know, kind of stupid, right? Um, There's these, there was another one where I was like, uh, on the fence, I think it was this one, Novella Vogue, yeah. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like melty and I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, this Gemini, I was also on the fence about. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, okay. These are nice, balmy, comfortable lipsticks. Here's another balm. This one's like my favorite lipstick ever. This one's brand new, so I just need to give it a, a shot. Um, okay. Bobbi Brown, so wedding lipstick. And you know what, even this YSL, the red's really pretty. The nude's really pretty too. No, I'm gonna keep that one. That is one that I do think I will definitely reach for because it's one of those comfortable ones. Um, this is a lot less than I thought I was gonna narrow it down to, you guys. This is pretty incredible for me. So I had 116, oops, 
to start out with, and I narrowed it down to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 59. Four of those 59 are kind of like, I don't know, just keeping just because. So this is pretty much half that I'm getting rid of, which I think is a pretty good accomplishment. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like watching declutter videos, then stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and stick around because I have a whole collection that I will slowly be decluttering this year. I'm not buying a whole lot this year. Um, so my collection, I hope to get to like a manageable size where it's nice and organized and clean and easy to find everything. I feel like every so often I get to that point and then I just rebuild. Um, so yeah, stick around, starting with the lip products. Next, I'm going to tackle liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, all that stuff. But this is crazy. Look at how much I'm getting rid of, you guys. It's kind of sad because it does a lot of money wasted in here. But it is what it is. Lesson learned, right? So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!